All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's oh. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he heard a barely jab. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Time the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. trying to shut the liver down. Oh. <laughs> elbows only tonight. Oh, big elbow. He's giving him so many different things right now. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Gets the elbow up into the target. Trying to trap an arm. And attack an arm bar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, feet on the hips here. It's the elbow there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. A triangle, a triangle. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. Here we are, early round two. Beautiful body kick. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Really good body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills with the ground and pound fighting. This young man is as good as as any we've ever seen. Oh, right, 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 right. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see the player reacting violently from that point. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, huge kick to the body. Again, they will 
clinch. Just oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a low. Oh, just digs into the body. He shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. And they separate. Big ball for West Land. Now he gets back to range. Nice one, two there. Oh, oh! oh it's over, it's over. He got it. What a performance. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definitely a striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. A oh, little single collar tie there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That was lightning fast, that right is. St. Pierre gets the takedown. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Two minutes here to go in round one. Nice work here off the bottom as he delivers a nice elbow. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Whoa! He got it! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him. A very presented inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. The adult beverages are flowing. And we're going to feed off this crowd tonight as usual here in the UK. You know, a lot of times you sit next to the octagon, and because we wear these headphones, you can barely hear it. Headphone or not, you are going to know that these people are loud, they're raucous, and they're ready to put on a show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighter. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thighs. He's like a really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Beautiful punch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. 
Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh. That one was going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, big left hook there. Some real power shots here. So, pull up the numbers here. 28 so was landed for Jared Kennedy. Great punch landed with so much power. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Big kick land. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, takes him man. Right in, slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong it end of that? Not, I mean, <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. One minute to go. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You. All right, stack guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What is that? I mean, that he's out. I mean, he's out. The oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Shot that will finish the fight. Entertaining scrap so far. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's going after the head. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to go. Oh! oh, straight right. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Cannoneer gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Just over three minutes to go now. from him here in round two. Took him a... Oh, what a shot right on the button. 